All right, um, so what I'd like to do for this problem is again, we have two y squared plus y minus one. So again, what we want to do is we want to factor this. So what we're going to do is to help us with the factoring method, I'm going to do a times c, and then put b on the bottom. a times c is negative two, and my b is one, because the coefficient on my y is just going to be one. So now I'm going to think about what are all the numbers that multiply to give me negative two, but then add to give me positive one. None. Oh, well, yeah, write down the fact. Negative two and one. Three. Right. You could do negative two times one, no, no, or negative two work. times no. negative one. So but which one of these multiply to give me, well, they both multiply to give us negative two, so, so what is the only one. combination, correct, that add up to give us one? Two minus one. Okay. Now, here's where it gets a little bit confusing, because what we did when a was equal to one, these were part of our factors, right? Yep. But now what we're going to do, I'm going to show you the factoring by grouping method. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these two terms and we're going to rewrite them as our middle term. All right, why don't I have to write them as their factors? No, why do you just put it in the middle? Okay, because look at 2y minus y gives us what? Y. y. Right? So in central, is this expression the same value as this expression? Yes. C. Yes. The values are exactly the same, right? But what I did is I did this to find how I can rewrite my two values. Okay? Do you see how they're the values are the same? Yeah. Y is the same thing as 2y minus y. Now what I do is now since I have four terms, I need to factor by grouping. So what I do is I group the first two terms and I group the last two terms, right? This is the factor by grouping that we worked on. Yes? How'd you get 2y minus y? Okay. It's, yeah. No. It's, that's positive 2y, and then that's the negative 1y, which is just negative y. I took my two factors as my middle terms. Or I took these two terms, okay? So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, what, do I, what can I factor out of here? You can factor out a 2y, which leaves you with a y plus one. And here, I can factor out a negative one, which is gonna leave you with a y plus one. For this all? Well, then, how do you get what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you in the back. How does the first, uh, whatever you call it, multiply occur? How do you factor out? Yeah. Well, remember, when we look at this, what is the GCF? What, do, what divides into both of these? Two and y divides into both. So remember, what do we do when we have the GCF? Divide both terms by your GCF. So your GCF is two y. What's two y squared divided by two y? Y. What's two y divided by two y? One. Does that make sense? That's how I got the y plus one. And then here, remember, you want to get this to be the same. So if I have negative y minus one, if I want to get that to be a y plus one, I'm going to want to factor out a negative one. Then what you notice is I'm going to have these are going to be exactly the same. So now I notice my GCF is y plus 1. So when I factor out or divide out my GCF, I'm left with y plus 1 times 2y minus 1. Is there a shorter way to do this? And that is going to be my factored way. Yes, absolutely. Yes? Maybe a number Yeah, I'll work through those as well. I'm just going to kind of, I want you guys to just kind of work through that. So that was method number one, which yes, might be a little bit longer than